Hello everyone, how are you? Nice to see you again. Thank you for stopping by. I'm here to present you what I've been working on these days. And uh, I will do some videos in a row because I have uh, a, an entry for my giveaway. I have some projects to share. So I will make some videos one after the other. So let me start. This is a junk journal I made. And it's really, really, really very, very similar to the previous one, the junk journal I made, my latest junk journal. And my latest junk journal is this. And if you see them, they are very, very similar. They are like brothers, but they have some differences. So let's start. Let me explain. So this was a custom order. A lady saw the previous one and wanted one similar. And I did uh, the best I could because, um, for example, I ran out of this fabric. This fabric was given to me by Crystal Gill. Thank you, Crystal. And I use all of it. I mean, I have only this tie, this uh, piece spare. So. I couldn't do it exactly the same with the previous, but I think I did it a bit better this one. This one has a cover that is not soft and not too hard. You can see that you can heat it, but it's also a bit flexible, if I'm making a point. Actually, what is this? It's a cardboard, I think you call it. It's from a watercolor album, the back cover that is more stiff, more hard. And my nails are full of prints and stuff, sorry for that. Gosh, I have washed my hands. <laughs> it's not like that, you know, with we crafters, but we always have dirty hands with the various stuff. So the fabric was so, uh, it, 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 was, uh, um, it was not enough to take it over here that I want it, so it will cover the two-thirds of the cover. So I place it over here. The cover actually ends where the pearls is. In this one I also put pearls. In this cluster, the difference I made is that I put uh, uh, some flowers, some applique flowers on top of here. And it's coffee dyed, and um, that's why some are more darker. And all of those are coffee dyed, and I place some fl this flower here and uh, this um, um, flat back row. How do you say flower center? I, I don't know how to say it. So, this fabric is from Crystal, and this is from my stars. I have a piece of a stripe of it, and I have used it. And this actually also is the last of it. And um, all around, I place uh, a tiny, tiny, very thin trim. It's actually this one, and I place it all around as a frame for my cover. And it's from uh, Irene series scrapping. Oh, let me show you the spine. Uh, this, the the spine I place. It's a bit. The spine is a bit crooked, I mean the lace. I will open it so you can see what I mean. When I was placing the, uh, the fabric, I placed the lace in the middle. I forgot, I always do that mistake, because I wanted to put the stripe. I always do that mistake and I place the lace in the middle before I actually do my stitching, do my banding. I did that boo-boo. So when I place the lace in the middle, I had it completely laid down, so I didn't center it very well. And if you see, it goes a bit this way. But from in front, you can see it. From the back, if you open it completely, you can see that it's a bit of this way, because the center is here, if you can see. So, what I did is, also the lace under the this trim is from my ring series scrubbing, and this lace is from my ring series scrubbing, and I just spray it with coffee. And all this trim all around, it's also from my ring, Silvish Scrub. And she has a zippered store, so you can go there and uh, you can find anything you like. So I place my fabric 
and fold it so on top it doesn't to cut and uh, fold the edges inside and uh, place the trim here a, a ribbon underneath and this trim this crochet trim above and this lace on top of the trim and this uh, cluster applique how do I say it here so when I did my binding I want to cut cover the thread because you could see it and then I place on top of on top of the binding this but because this is in the center it looks like it's crooked compared to this one I don't know if I'm making a point I just glued this thing when it was open and I didn't center it well you know I'm not a, a measure type I'm just a eyeball type so all around it has this beautiful ruffle tree that is actually this string comes uh it's it's white and it comes with the ribbon in the middle and the ruffles on the left and on the right and what i did is i fold it it comes like that so i fold it and when you fold it i wanted to sew to have the ribbon it's on the trim actually so when i fold it the smaller side I took it outside so it has this smaller ruffle and it looks like it's two, it's two layers but actually it's one, it's one lace and I just fold it and it's also from my ring series scrapping and this as I told you I fold it and this is the inside because I put the ribbon and the crochet trim all around but I didn't put trim here, uh, pearl trim here so you can um, have the book um, to lie to, to so you can write and I place some pearls in the corners and uh, so you know and let me start with the inside the inside as I told you is very similar to the previous one very few differences uh, for example here it's how it's from the side and you can see that it has many many pieces of um, trims and this is one of the differences I didn't put something similar to the previous uh, term so die cut pieces I use all my die cut pieces and all the roses because the lady wanted roses this will be a gift for her mother and I use only this type of pockets here I didn't make pockets with books because my sewing machine broke and uh, what if you see the stitching here the stitching here is because when I did the previous one when previous one my machine was still working and I get I printed all the pages and coffee dye all the pages and stitch them and do all the stitching and then I separated them in two packs that's why I still have the stitching pages and uh, this one has stitching pages but then I couldn't do any more stitching in this one after I wanted to put my decoration and stuff and make pockets and various things because my machine is broke it's dead bye bye it needs uh, to go to the handyman but that is not cheap anyway I'm rambling so this all that you see are printables from Tsunami's Rose Design. This is not a DD project, it's not a design tip project, but they're printables, the pages, everything that you see here, it's from Tsunami's Rose Design. So she has these beautiful stunning pages with this um, special uh, thing, uh, special edge pockets, I mean, and, and I place some lace above it and I place some ephemeras. And these are tickets and this is a tag that I minimize as I told you I have the habit to minimize and maximize all the ephemeras and the pages so I can turn a page to an ephemera and an ephemera to a page this is also minimized and I place various ephemeras there are threads and pieces so this is from her kit also and I have places var in various places uh, scraps of trims and um, fabric and the rest of the fabric like here for example just to make it an interest more interesting 
as you can see, I have used the pages with the same technique that makes them transparent and makes them like waxed. And you can see the image in, from two sides. This is cooking paper. This is also double print page. This is a, 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 a come on an envelope. And when I'm filming, always my mother fights to, to do something. I mean, she knows. Okay, now I'm going to film. I'm telling her. And now she does various stuff to make noises. Woohoo! That's my mom. This is uh, one of the pages that are placed there so you can write. And she continues. I put the envelope in both sides of the page so in this side makes a pocket that we can place stuff here. I hope she likes it. What's that? No, it's only fake. So this is an envelope that I minimize and I have placed some writing paper inside and this is it. This is, we call it a millimetre paper. It's from mathematics and stuff, geometry. I don't know how it's called in English. My vocabulary is pretty beautiful. So it has various, various uh, roses and uh, fuzzy cut roses and flowers another beautiful pocket from tsunami also also all of it's all it's from tsunami some tickets there go like that an ephemera come on and this is a minimized page with flowers. I don't know how this flower is called. Is it right? Sword lilies? Oh, he sort heals it right. Okay. Anyway, this is a logistic book. Uh, I have to say uh, counters. Anyway, music page, decorative stitching. Stamping all around. I will stop talking and just continue sewing you the pages. This is work like that, like a curtain, and you can hide something underneath. <laughs> so this is, and this is the other side. I made an envelope of a page, and this is an envelope. Just that I did and has some writing paper inside and just place it there with a clip. Come on. Fuzzy cut uh, die cut bits, die cut ephemeras. This is a cross puzzle in Greek. The inside doesn't have too much decoration because I want my journals to have plenty of place for writing. So I took this page and I stitched it with this page and I make two pockets and I place some tags inside. So one pocket is here and it goes well. And the other tag is here. And goes in this bucket. So you have this beautiful page and it has some stitching and you divide the page in two. So this is an envelope, it's long envelope, I fold it in two and cut the opening here. It still has the sticker so you can stick it. <laughs> And I just place an ephemera there. Greek book pages with ephemera. 
you can see all around laces. I place some extra uh, flower pages because her mom loves flowers. I took this scrap piece of uh, folder that I had because I used the one side so the other one stays so I use them for pages and fold it and make a page here and I place some ephemeris inside beautiful ephemeris but that's all you minimize and normally they are you know this size the tuck size bigger size and uh, beautiful beautiful pages pretty pages I put this rose a die cut piece on the page of uh, a grid page of on the yes car is here kind of video gosh every time I hate that. so this is a page I fold it in half and place it in the center this is uh, one curtain I don't know how to say it that you can decorate it I just put a piece of lace there Many, many stitches, grid book pages, pages for writing, minimize ephemera. I like this flower, I don't know how it's called, but I like it. It looks like bells, and I love this. We call it on Tansia here. Like pieces again. Many, many laces. This is actually cooking paper, non-sticking cooking paper. We use it uh, on the base of our uh, surface, so when you place, for example, your cookies, they won't stick. But it's transparent and I like it. I also like the effect of the ephemera on the pages, on the book pages, because it makes them like they are design paper. The other side of the envelope folded in half, and I just place an ephemera there. This is the other side of the stitched paper that the other side has two pockets, and here I just make one so you can have some place to store stuff. And I just pay, put a place for writing. Nothing special. Beautiful pages, so you can write on these. Quick cross puzzle. A page folded in half, so you can write on it. A minimized page. that you can hear it's the dog's nails on the floor because the dog decided to come here that's right I don't know about you but every time I do a video something will happen so this is the envelope I made and I placed it like that and it has the pages folded in four inside Various size of pages. Oh, I forgot this page. We have to put some ephemeris inside. Oh gosh, I forgot it. So let's play something so I can remind, remember. You see, no brain. No brain at all. So this is another time envelope. But uh, I put in two sides and has some place to write inside. Oh, guys, this stresses me so much. It really stresses me so much when I try to do something and you hear sounds that you shouldn't hear. So I make this uh, envelope here with a pocket, with um, a page. 
and I got the idea from Nikki Power. And she sent me one tag and she has made the envelope for the tag and I really like it. Inside I have also a dog that like looks more like bookmark. And they go like this. So I will look. Okay, I'm gonna waste your time. So this is another page. Many, 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 many roses. It's full, full, full of roses, like a gigantic garden of roses. I love this type of pages. And uh, Janam Zos has a huge, enormous collection of printables and pages, and she has enormous, enormous collection of flowers. And this is a fuzzy cut, a femur that I placed there. And that's the back of it. So that was my book. I hope you like it. Tell me what you think. If you have any remarks or comments to what would you like to see your you know your opinion just tell me your opinion i'm here free to op open to hear everything so i close it so i hope the lady that got it from her mother will like it i hope her mom will like it because as she told me her mom likes everything uh, handmade and i hope she will enjoy it and have fun with it and So that was my junk journal that I made. Oh, I've closed it before I put something on the nebula. So I hope you like it. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget that I'm having a giveaway so you can win a lace book. Don't forget to share, comment, like, subscribe. Please thumbs up. Please be positive. If you don't like it, you just can see something else if you don't like what I'm doing please thumb up, uh, thumbs up please subscribe and hit the bell button you will see a little bell you all know it about this in uh, YouTube and you will see a little bell hit it so every time I do something and you want to see it you will get a notification thank you thank you thank you everyone for your love and your support thank you to all, all, all my new subscribers I really really am grateful thank you thank you thank you and it's i really really thank you that you make my channel grow and uh, i hope i will be uh, improve as a i will be better as an artist or creator as time goes by and thank you everyone hugs and kisses